name is Uzma Kazi. I was, uh, well, I've just graduated, well, graduated in July 2008 from the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. Um, so I am now working as a freelance theatre designer. Um, done a lot of work with um, sort of set costume props design um, in West Bromwich uh, with Forsyth Theatre Company, uh, in Leeds with Red Lad Theatre Company, um, and also with Peshkar, um, which is actually. Um, how I sort of got onto the right house as well. Um. Hello, Shabina. I must give salam. Um, how are you? Uh, you've just come back from work. Uh, quite late, isn't it? Uh, so what have you been doing today? Quite late, isn't it? No, no, no. Um, so, you must have been... Uh, quite busy at work. Uh, what do you do exactly? Um, basically, I um, worked as a as a set costume props designer for One Thousand and One, which was the Pesh, which was Peshkar's uh, young participant uh, project, um, and uh, sort of we've, you know we've had sort of built, built a good relationship now, um, and I'm sort of happy to keep that going. Um, and uh, yeah, so the right house I found out through through Peshkar itself. Um, well, have you been writing in the past, or was this something? Um, been this is actually well, it's a, my first attempt, um, and uh, I mean, my general thoughts as a well, as an artist, if you like, um, is is to combine combine perhaps words and imagery together to create sort of in installation work. So, um, though Wright House is more about playwriting, um, I've certainly you know learned a lot of techniques and things that I might apply to other areas of, of you know, the, the design field, um, as it were, to create installation work, um, you know, film work and things like I mean, that. For, for, the, for, the, for the context of, of, of this, um, of the Wordsmith Festival, um, it certainly was meant for traditional theatre, if you like, um, but I'm, I'm sort of being, I like the idea of playing with sort of ab abstract um, forms or abstract concepts, if you like. Computer engineer. It is a great job. Uh, the company is quite big in Lahore. It's called Techie. Uh, maybe you don't know. Uh, you have not been to Pakistan for so long. Uh, I've been there for four and a half years now. And uh, also, I bought an auto car last few months ago. I mean, they're paying me many money and uh, uh, they're paying me... My general thoughts about, about the piece was to look at of in, in my sort of brainstorming that I did um, was the fact that we we belong to so many different circles in community and you know it was about expect Chibina is about the different expectations that people have of a certain person or, or how we act within our different circles and things like that um, and and um, th this scene was taken from a, a sequence uh, of, of scenes um, where we, we would have gone into um, the home and explored the parents' perceptions of Shabina uh, into the office and we would have looked at her, her colleagues um, as well as the siblings. Um, uh, this particular scene is um, well, Shiraz's scene, Shiraz's monologue, where um, he, he's, he's basically pre preparing for for the big, the big meet, the first, the first meet, and the the pressures that uh, Asian men might might feel um, are often ignored. And usually, when we think about arranged marriage, it's all about the wom the woman's view and all of this. Yeah, stuff. Mm. But I think it's in interesting to explore, um, you know, the, the the sort of psychological things that that men might go through, or the things that they, you know, they need to express and things like that. So uh, it is wonderful. Uh, but only thing, these houses are all the same, you know, uh, they, they, they have the same shape and all attached together. Mm. You must come to Lahore with me, we just sit in the big field outside the house. <laughs> I often do that. It's, it's a very different experience altogether. Um, my, my general feel was that, well, in terms of stage direction, just that it was, um, it was very much um, just, just him and his preparation and his... Um, his sort of need of space and time to prepare for this big meet um, and so I sort of set it in you know in, in the bedroom in front of a mirror sort of, sort of thing where you know it's quite comical for to see someone 
putting the hand forward in front of a, you know, in order to shake someone else's hand in front of a mirror or, you know, making sure that you're dressed right and you've you brushed your hair through and things like that. Um, I think in terms of language, um, or in terms of the character development, um, yes, he's he's a character, Shiraz is a character from, from Pakistan, um, and I almost, almost wanted to make it quite comical, um, simply because I think we all need a connection and we almost need to look at it in a, in a light-hearted way. And I, and I think it's, it's a nice way to sort of, you know, look at the, you know, the big picture or, or that.